So that's the I love you will. Another problem here, um, another example I'll give you, and again, you know, we, I, I use these examples because they're so common. This is something that we see all the time as to how plans fail, even when folks feel like they've done the right thing. So let's say we've got John and Agnes here. Um, oops, that should be an A. John and Agnes, they've both got wills, okay? And again, John, we're going to bump John off here. So John passes away. <coughs> and his will, what does his will say? Well, of course, his will says, like most married, married folks, his will says everything to go to Agnes, okay? Problem is, though, this will, they did it 20 years ago. They shoved it in a drawer somewhere, and it's just been kind of forgotten about, collecting dust. And since the will was done, John and Agnes have done all these different things, okay? So they have a joint account. And then John, who's passed away now, he had an IRA. They've got three children, and John made the beneficiary designation. He'd kind of forgotten about this. He did this a long time ago. But he made Justin, their eldest son, the beneficiary of the IRA. Then they have a TOD, transfer on death account, and John made the beneficiary of that one, Katie, their daughter. Then a, um, a POD, usually that's with the bank, payable on death account, and they made their that other account payable to Sam, and then which is their youngest son. And then just for good measure, he also has at the bank a ITF or in trust for account, made that the beneficiary on that the nephew Jimmy. Okay. But remember now, what did the will say? The will said everything to Agnes. But let's see what happens in reality. So the joint account, who does that go to? It goes to Agnes, right? Cause it's a, why? Because it's a joint account. What about the IRA? Who does that go to? It goes to Justin, right? The TOD? goes to Katie. The POD, the payable on death account, goes to Sam. And the ITF, the in trust for, oops, went one too many there. The, um, the ITF, the in trust for account there, went to Jimmy, their nephew. But wait a minute. The will said everything was supposed to go to Agnes. All poor Agnes gets here is this little, the joint checking account the joint account, right? All the real money is here in the IRA and in these other assets here. They all go to these other beneficiaries. Why? Because the, desig the beneficiary designations on these accounts, they override the will. And a lot of people don't realize that or they forget, you know, this John filled out these IRA forms 30 years ago when he started with the company at work. He'd forgotten, oh, I'll just put Justin down. I'll change it later. Never did. So, as I say, I see this every day. These things happen. 